not return. We've been honored to be the recipient of these names and of their unbelievable commitment. We've asked our close friend, LA Deputy Chief Michael Downing, to reflect for a few minutes on what it means to be a first responder in the difficult times and every single day. So please, a special warm greeting for the entire LAPD as Deputy Chief Michael Downing joins us. Good, good morning. As a public servant and a law enforcement officer, one who protects the values of our Constitution and that which is probably the most symbolic of our country, what it is to be American, I feel like this institution is so symbolic of what it is to be American as well. People ask me, are we safer today? And we are safer today. We are safer today because we've had a decade of courageous, heroic, self-sacrificing work that has been done by millions of people around the world. Christians, Jews, Muslims, and peoples of all faith so that the memory of the 3,000 9-11 victims remain honored and inspire acts to keep our way of life safe, peaceful, prosperous, and thriving. The first responders do that but the first preventers also do that, and that is you, and that is our community, and that what is what makes America. Today, tomorrow, and every day forward, we remember and honor Americans around the world, including Muslims, Christians, Jews, and peoples of other faith who were murdered on that day. American servicemen and women of all faiths who have lost their lives in the war since then, and innocent civilians of all faiths who have died in those wars. It's important to keep that memory alive and learn what we can from history and support those grieving for loved ones and bring comfort to those who are afraid, angry, or confused. We are proud to live in this country, a country founded upon the ideals of tolerance, equality, religious freedom, those same principles that embody this institution. I feel more optimistic today as a first responder. We'll still content, continue the hunt and pursue because we still have evil people in the world that would like to destroy our way of life. But I feel optimistic because we're acting more as one, more as a community. There's more unity, there's more support, and it seems there's more love for one another. It feels as if there is more justice, more peace, and we need to ensure today that there is more truth. How do we improve our situation? How do we show the world what it is to be American and live in a country which allows people to better their life, to be free, to have ideas, to innovate? How do we continue to shine a beacon of hope on people such as yourselves? People who believe in what our country stands for. People who are engaged with communities people who serve with a servant's heart, people who are striving for a better world, a world built on the pillars of justice, truth, and peace. That is what it is to be a first responder. That is what it is to be a first preventer. To the interfaith community and to those here today, please continue to pray for a more peaceful world, one built on progress, light, knowledge, understanding, and truth. Thank you.